So on one of my regular procrastination days, I've decided that. Wait. I can just recreate Care Morhan in Unreal Engine. A brilliant, I'll become famous, then become a rich and the whole next life I just can procrastinate freely. I'm a genius. It will take not more than two weeks. So, let's start. But if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like... Fuck. It took a bit more time than I thought. Um... So, I start by making a 3D scan of the castle, to make a maximal close scale of the towers and walls in the final. I used a 3D F Zephyr because it's really cool program, and my decision is not related to the fact that the program is free, um, trust me. Um. So, after making a 3D scan model, I needed to export it in Unreal Engine. A lot of boring math later. Then I use SketchUp to make my castle model. Because all you need to do in this program is... Um... This is a 3DS Max. And this is its standard Boolean system. Meanwhile... I just wanted to damage my walls, but no, no boy, that's not working like that. Firstly, you must spend eight hours trying to find a solution to the problem, and at the end of the day not find a solution to the goddamn problem at all. And then, in the next day, start making half of the model by scratch. Yuck. So, question is, how to damage walls? I used a fast cutter plugin by Effective TDS. Then, I used a Cinema 4D to smooth the sharpness of noise in the walls. After all, I re-exported my model in the Unreal Engine, and got this. Very good model. So, how did I make this material? I start by taking screenshots of used arrays of texture in the original game. So, where can I find PBR textures, Quixel Mega Scans? And you know what's cool? It's absolutely free. Yet, absolutely free only for Unreal Engine users, because for Unity for example it's still absolutely paid. Maybe next time Unity, sorry. Next, I mix textures in Quixel Mixer. After importing my textures in Unreal Engine, for each of them I made a material function that hides repetition of the texture. And then, I made a mixer function material just used previous made material functions, and then used alert to blend different materials into one.
After all, I made a simple regular material, dropped into it my mixer function, break material attributes, connect it to standard stone material or node, then add some texture micro variation and connect it to the base color graph. Also, I mixed normal maps, but in this case, I used only three basic textures, because it was enough. Only large, medium, and small stones and flint stones. And voila! We got the final material. Sky. So let's find some references. The Witcher 3 too bright. The Witcher 2 too green. The Witcher 1 perfect. But the very first three chapters is not what I exactly want. So... Here are too many dim colors. Don't like it. I instantly moved to chapter 4. And God look at this. Perfect clear sky. Exactly what I want. So I took a similar picture of the sky from internet. Make from it a texture and we got it. Next. So, afterward. I made a picture of the region of interest to better know what I should transfer from the original game, and what probably shouldn't. So, the red color the most important, then must have like in the original game. Green is secondary. Pink, must have too, but here you can cheat a bit and do that a bit differently. All other not highlighted things is not important at all. You can place them everywhere there you want. I also made screenshots of those things which I want to see in my final work. The only reason why I did is a brain. You know, 95% of all information or ideas that you get in a day just forgets in the next one. But in this case, small details play a big role in the final result. So I just wanted to save it, because, if I thought that I'll remember it, I'd forget most of them. So, now let's begin. Firstly I decided to recreate red parts of the image, where it was possible I used Omega Scans, where's not, you know what. I used 3DS Max again. Here's a time lapse of recreating Kara Morhen. Hope you'll enjoy. No. You'll enjoy it. That's better.
so, if you like so you like this video and I waiting for your donations on my Kickstarter campaign page, so the start goal is 1 billion dollars, let's help me become rich. You. What? Okay, here's my special offer special for you and only today. Pay taxes. Also I, we, I and my team got a Fiverr page. So if you're interested to get a super Hollywood quality ultra cinematic photorealistic incredible and magnificent 3D model for your project, hit the link in the description, or I'll be upset.